thank you for clicking the thumbnail. I am correct, it's not misleading. I can charge my EV overnight from my solar via my Zappi. Let me explain how. So yes, it's uh, now June, nearly July 2022 and summer is here, although as I shoot this video this afternoon it's a little bit overcast, but it still doesn't take away from the fact of what I'm about to tell you actually happens with my solar PV array. Yes, I can charge electric vehicles through the night from solar. How on earth can you do that at night, Jonathan? Because at night the sun is not up. It's, uh, well, it's, it's dark, you just can't make solar energy at night. Well, let me just give you a little bit of background. Over this last few months, I've been getting a lot of yellow on my app from My Energy that denotes, the yellow is a bad thing by the way, yellow denotes that I'm just dumping on the grid. And I just can't use all the energy. So my Sunamp uh, heat batteries that provide my hot water are full, usually by about nine ten o'clock in the morning we do all the baking we need to do the cooking etc the washing everything's washed running out of things to wash um, and also my ev my key e nero it's not been used for about a week because i've been ill with the dreaded covid so it's just sat here at 80 percent which is the maximum i'm charging it to and it's just not going anywhere so i'm running out of room to store my solar energy so yeah, yellow is bad, as I've just uh, shown on this screenshot. Um, it's not all bad, because I am putting that excess electricity out onto the grid to my neighbours. So it actually goes to my neighbours themselves, down the physical wires here in this little cul-de-sac, and it will power their fridges, their electric kettles if they're in during the day, etc. So it's not all bad. It is rather strange in 2022 that their meters will actually spin and they will be charged for the electricity they're getting from my house for free because i'm not being paid for electricity i dump on the grid it's just not worth it um so that's the sort of crazy situation we're in at the minute so i dump onto the grid at the maximum rate of around 3.8 kilowatts and that's why on the graph that i've shown you here it's actually curtailed uh, the, the actual hump that should be there to denote the excess electricity is just sharply chopped off at just below four kilowatts dumping on the grid so that's the most i've set on my hybrid inverter to push out onto the grid so what i need to do during the night is empty my storage batteries because the next day i look at the forecast it's going to be a sunny day i'm going to, again i'm going to be making too much electricity I can't use it at home. I can't ask my neighbour to come and plug in during the day because he's gone out to work. I've got two neighbours, one across the road, um, who's got a Kia e Nero, and Nick, who works two doors away, he's got an old shape Hyundai Ionic, AKA the wind knife, which he really, really likes. So I messaged Nick at uh, about 7 p.m. last night. I said, Nick, I've got an idea. Can you come and plug in? Which he did at uh, 13 minutes past seven. Uh, I'll show you a screenshot now, the state of charge in my storage batteries, my Parlon Tech, was 97%. So I then set the Zappi just to the eco mode, which basically means it will just charge at a flat, steady rate of 1.4 kilowatts. Now, if there was any more solar on the eco setting, it would, it would, to add to that 1.4 kilowatts if there was any excess but through the night it's just going to pump out 1.4 kilowatts out of my zappy into the ev regardless of any other asks from the house which of course through the night here is virtually nothing so i wanted to do a little experiment to see how much i could take out of my sunamp batteries between 7 pm and 7 am the following morning now, how much energy I could put back into his EV in order for me to free up space in my battery storage pylon tech units so the next day, i.e. today, I could start filling them up again on uh, electricity. So in essence, in those 12 hours, 
he went from 17% state of charge in his Ionic right up to 82% in exactly 12 hours. That's how much electricity I put into his battery during those 12 hours. So in total, we put 18 kilowatt hours of electricity into his battery. Now, on an average of four miles per kilowatt hour, which is quite mean, it's often very much more in the Ionic, at four miles per kilowatt hour, that's 72 miles of range that I added into his EV. Now, okay, at 25p a unit day rate that Nick might be paying, he might be paying 30 pence, but let's go for 25p a unit. It's only £4.50 worth of electricity that I've given him for free. But the option was for him to use his electricity overnight whilst he slept and he'd be charged £4.50 or charge from my free electricity so I can free up some space the following day. It just seems like the right thing to do. I'm not asking for any money from him. I just want to see this free electricity being used. So being smart about your solar energy is really key and the battery storage units are fundamental into making my system just so much more cost effective and um, eco-friendly if you like because I'm using all that energy and uh, freeing up some space for the following day. So yeah, using solar energy at night is possible when you're using the energy you've stored during the day so that when uh, you're out at work, it's not just getting wasted and dumped onto the grid. Now in October this year, it could be the, exactly 12 months since I've had my smart meter fitter. So I've got some really accurate figures as to my day rate, my cheap rate, and also how much I've actually dumped onto the grid during those 12 months. So I'll do another video about that um, in October, November time. So how have we done today? Well, as you saw from the screenshot at quarter past seven, um, I was down to 20% and then Nick came and unplugged and took his car away. And then this morning, it's the usual thing, the breakfast, the toaster, the kettle, did a load of washing. None of it was coming off the grid. It was all coming off the solar and the battery storage. And as I finish this video now, it's 14.53, that's 10 to three in the afternoon. And I'm up to 87%, well, you can see it there, in my state of charge in my storage batteries. And I'm still putting in 1.7 kilowatts because as you can see, it's a bit overcast at the minute. So my little experiments worked out really well. I filled up my neighbor's EV for free for him. And I then captured all the sunshine that's been in, out, in, out today. So by the time I go to bed tonight, I'll have a big, full, 100% full Parlin Tech batteries to see me through the night. So um, I'll look at the forecast for tomorrow. I think it's going to be a bit cloudy tomorrow, so I might not offer Nick any electricity tonight. But the day after, it's going to be sunny again. So it's just this ability to plan ahead and see how you can be smart with the electricity that you're either going to make or you're going to store um, for the following day. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. And uh, if you're passing this area of Orkney, the west coast, and um, you want to charge, come and plug in. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and all that stuff. And um, happy EV solar charging day wherever you are.